Hey guys, Stephanie here with Create from the Heart and today I want to sh make a video showing you a project that I'm working on. Um, it's a birdhouse made out of wood that I want to alter to like a shabby chick style. I'm going to give it to a friend of mine, and I made one of these before of the same kind of th thing for my craft room, and this is what it looks like. I had painted the wall, but I put paper on, like this here is paper on the roof, but I painted the wall of it and decorated it, and it's all the way, ribbons all the way around it, but I only put the zebra on the front part here, and so um, I made this here, and I'm going to make this one similar, similar to it, but I'm not going to do it exactly, and um, I got these birdhouses at my local Walmart store for about $5. And then what I'm going to do is for the first layer, um, I'm going to use the Daler, Daler Ronnie Simply Acrylic uh, Gloss Medium White Paint to put the coat on uh, to base it to the wood anyways. It probably won't actually put coat if it's a gloss um, and stuff, but I'll just coat it so the other paint will, you know, stick there. Then after I do after that all dries, I will use the same kind of paint but violet color uh, to base it in. And then if you can see on this one here, I'm gonna turn it a little bit. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, the paint where my thumb and the regular walls is at is sparkles. I have a glitter paint, um, and Hit is a folk art brand, and I'm gonna be using Hit for the outside layer of the paint, and then I'll just decorate it. So I'm not going to go. The video as the video go the whole time I'm doing it I'm just gonna stop by after each step and show you how I do it so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the my, my little supplies ready here and then I will come back and show you what I'm gonna do okay so I'm here now I got my birdhouse I've got a little base here that protects my surface um, while I'm painting and I've got my cup of water with a really big paintbrush um i you try some of the white out already to see how it done and then i got my paints oh, my white paint and my purple paint so i'm gonna go ahead and put the white coat on now and then whenever it dries and stuff and before i go do the purple paint i'll come back to you i'll show you hit and then i'll show you go ahead and start the purple okay okay so here is the birdhouse it's not completely all dry it's still wet and um it's got the white base on it and I'm noticing that in spots that it is drawn that it's still not even a white much of a white it's more of a gloss so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it purple after this and be done with it but as you can see um it's you know got a little bit of a white to it not a whole lot but a little bit to it and uh I just next time that I go to to cover white and I will not rely on this it might do better for something else I mean, where it is glossy um but for this project it ain't working too good so which i have some more over um here i've got a bunch of the apple barrel acrylic paint just the regular and i've got some more back there but um i didn't want to use hit because i used hit with that project and hit was or that one up there and it was like it, it was really thick for the pro the wood, so I don't know, but it'll work for this project, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead with this dries and start in the purple, and then I'll come back to you. Um, I have uh, the birdhouse, the purple first part, purple coat put on. Um, I'm having to use my phone to record this video, part of the video because my other thing that I was using, I've got hit, put it on my laptop, uploading a video right now. So... I got the first coat of purple um, on. As you can see, it is bleeding through just a little bit on certain spots, but I'm going to put another coat on there. And then once I get that done, I'll come back to you and show you my next materials I'm going to use because I'm not going to just leave it solid purple. I'm going to use a purple glittery paint on there, but I will show you all that and stuff later. So I'm going to finish putting my second coat, let this dry, and put my second coat on, and I will be back with you when the first layer right here is completely done. Okay, uh, first of all, if you hear any sawing in the background, I apologize. It's for in the living room and that I was doing, doing some work and stuff. But, um, okay, so I've got all the purple on my um, birdhouse now. And so I'm going to show you a hand show the next thing that you need. The next thing that you're going to need is a little container. I'm using an artist palette for it to hold the paint. And then you're going to need this right here is what I'm going to use. It's Folk Art Extreme Glitter. 
and it's acrylic paint and this one here is purple um i for sure what the name okay she's purple uh see purple so um i got a little bit left in this bottle but i brought a brand new bottle here and i'm going to use it and um, when it dries when this purple here dries i'll show you what it looks like oh give me one second I thought it was closer to me than it was. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So when it dries, it looks like this. This is a paper doll that I made. Um, paper doll, doll form that I made. And it looks like up there it's purple glittery. And I think it just gives a whole, shh, whole new uh, look to the colored items and stuff. So that's what it's going to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this part here off. Then once it's finished dries and I put that there on there, I'll show you. Okay, so I now have the purple coat on. It's completely down purple. I'm about to go ahead and start on the glitter um, purple that I showed you. And if you look, when you pour it out, it looks like a white with glitter or whatever in it. But when it dries, it's sparkly like that there. So I'm going to show you real fast how it's going to look. So I'm just going to grab some of this thing. And you kind of had to put it on there thick in order for it to do it, to do it right. So uh, I'll just kind of more like more or less padded on there and it takes quite a bit but um like i pat it on there like a there i'm going to do this like for majority of it but there'll probably be some spots that i will like just brush um down with it because that's why i put the purple base on like if you do it like a there just brushing down it'll dry purple still but it only have like a really small um a really small glitter in it like I'll show you real fast what I'm talking about I'll use oh I'll just push myself I'll use my heat tool Okay, so um, that's what's gonna look like when it's dried, like out there. It's gonna, and if you turn it over here in the light, uh, let's see if I can pick it up. I don't know if you can pick it up or not. It does sparkle a little bit, but not a whole whole lot. But now up here on the top, you can see it, and here sparkles a whole lot more. That's why I'm trying to do it that way. So I'll go ahead and get this here all done, and he'll probably take that whole bottle, that brand new bottle, box for this, and really, truly, it might actually be a little less. So. Is it wait and see? So I'll go ahead and get this here done. Then when I get this done, we'll be ready for the embellishments, and I'll show you what I'm doing there. Okay, guys. So I got this purple glitter uh, first coat on, and um, after I done the first panel, I ended up doing it the second way instead of the first way. Instead of me showing you that me blotching it, I done the streaks. Streaks. Sorry, I can't talk tonight. And so after I realized it and I started seeing it dry, as you can see that it actually done just just good. This garbage in this sack in the hallway. Yes. Um. It's not completely dried on some spots, but you can see the sparkle. It's so beautiful. And all I've done was just, you know, just put some on it. And uh, went up and down like this right here. And let it dry like that. And um, so, once all this dries completely, I'll be ready for embellishments. And then, um, I'll, give, I'll be back to you and show you what embellishments I'm going to use. And get kind of stuff. And then we'll start decorating the house. Alright, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now, I've got all the glitter on it. It's coated really good and everything. And now I'm going to start with my embellishments. Now I've already got my hot glue gun ready. And uh, had to heat up and stuff. And what I'm going to be using is some pink lace. Um, it's, if I can get it out here. It's lace like this, little flowers and wriggly. And it's pink. You much can't see on the camera, it looks more like white, but it's like a light pink. I'm going to use it there. Then I'm going to use some, um, some Rick Rack silver, uh, um, silver, and then I'm gonna use some purple floor ribbon, and it's more like a silky ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my hot glue gun ready, um, and then I will be right back. Okay, another thing that I decided to use right fast before I got started was this lace here that I've got. Um, it's really wide. It's really wide lace, and it's really pretty. I'm gonna use it against this, all the way around this, all the way around the the um, birdhouse as the 
base ribbon then I'm gonna put this ribbon on top of it and then in this pink ribbon here I'm gonna put um, at the bottom like down here and this right here hanging down where it covers the this empty space and then I'm gonna also use it um, decoratively ways into the birdhouse so I'm gonna go ahead and get my supplies ready and pre-cut everything that I need and stuff and I'll be right back okay so I went ahead and pre-cut it all the the ribbon and stuff and this is just kind of an overview how it's going to look. I'm going to have the white against the birdhouse, purple, and this rick rack is going to go, which of course it was crumpled up, but it's going to go straight across the purple. And then this piece here, the pink lace is going to go on the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. And um, I'm going to put it to the side here so that you can watch and see, and or try to see, I guess you can say. I don't know how much more, how much of it you'll actually get to see, so I'll just try. Okay, so... That looks pretty good to me. Um, I did the purple edge here, as you can see. Uh, triangles cut. That way it gives it more definition in the front. A little bit more. But the first thing that I'm going to do is to glue the white lace down first against the edge. I'm not going to put any on the front here. I'm going to start from the side and do it from that part. So I'm going to go ahead and put a strip of glue. I'm going to turn it on its side, which you probably can't see it. Let me see if I can fix you a little better. Let's see if that's a little better. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to put a strip of glue. Okay, sorry about that. So now I'm going to put a strip of, strip of hot glue down the side here the edge and then I'm going to line my ribbon up with it and then I'm not going to glue each and every piece I will glue the back here to help secure it on both sides and I'm going to pull it Tightly. And don't worry about webs because you can pull that off once it cools. I'm going to glue it here on this end and on this end. And it's going to be a little longer because I want to make sure just in case. I always cut my ribbon a little bit longer that way if it, it does turn out to be a little shorter then it should match up if it did turn out to be shorter. So I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and cut this excess off here. I'm gonna have to, I pulled it away from the glue so that I can cut some more. I still need to cut it a little bit more, so I'm gonna turn it back around here so I can cut it better. I know you probably can't see what I'm doing, but all I'm doing is just recutting it down to size. Okay. I'm re-gluing it back on. Okay. So, as you can see now, I've got it all the way around the back. And like I said, don't wear the webs because you can pull those off. But I've got it all the way around the back. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the purple ribbon on top of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I do want this part of the purple ribbon, purple ribbon um, in the front of the birdhouse. I didn't want the white lace, but I wanted I want this one. Where? Good son. Okay, so now, sorry about that. I had to do my son. He'll be me. Okay, so I wanted the... the these pieces here to um, hang over the front part so I'm just going to go ahead and glue it on top of the white lace leaving that part hanging over now this one right here because the way it is materialized plastically like I do glue each end it helps it secure it a little better while I kind of pull a little bit on it while it glues and I've made one of these before for my room and um, 
it turned out pretty, but the glitter part didn't turn out as good as this one did. This one here turned out better glittery than the one I made. I think that I showed you in the beginning of the video of it. A picture, or what it looked like, I mean. So, but you can get the idea of what I was doing. But like I said, this one right here is for a friend of mine. Um, she likes purple like I do. So, I went ahead and I'm going to make her one. So, and then she's coming over tomorrow and I'm trying to get done tonight so the hit will be done. these webs okay so now to give you a little picture of how it looks it looks like that all the way around and in the front you can see it's opened now the reason why I left it open I'm gonna cut this part here where it goes in the hole off but I wanted to give it a little bit more of a tie so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these little pieces here off to match the lace So it looks like up there and it comes towards the peg where the little bird will sit at. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those down. I'm going to fix this little piece here. It's sticking up. Oh, that glue is hot. Be careful when you're using the hot glue gun because you'll burn yourself just like I did. <laughs> um, when I deal with hot glue gun, I'm going to put a sign on my videos. Pa parent supervision required. Even though we all are probably parents. <laughs> but uh, that's just like with the child safety stuff they make. They make it child safety, but sometimes it's almost like it's adult safety as well. So anyways, back to this topic. <laughs> um, so there you go. You have it like that. And we'll embellish it and stuff later. So I'm going to go ahead and more embellishments. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and add the pink ribbon to the base. And I glue it all the way around as well. All the way across the board as well. Like I did the purple. In just a second. I just leave it barely. Even it up with the top edge of the board. And, um... I try to leave it even so that he don't get crooked around the around the thing. And I'm burning my finger up like crazy where this lace is thin. <laughs> Normally I'd use my bone folder when I'm pushing down, but I've lost mine, but I can use the scissors I guess. I would do that sometimes too, use my scissors. Because my fingers burn up when I use this lace on it all the time. And I think it's funny because I'll use it, I'll use my fingers and then my finger burn up. And then when I go get my laptop and, and my, with, a, with a mouse pad, is, you know, sensor to your skin, it's like I can't even feel the, map, the laptop bumps on it, little bumps on it, because my fingers burned up from dealing with the hot glue gun. Like if I go and look at an ideal or something. And this one out here ended up being just a little short. I don't know how it happened, but it did. So I'll have to add a piece of lace to that too. So see, it's a little short. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video for a minute. Go cut a piece and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and cut the little, cut the little inch off. And I'll probably put some kind of embellishment there later to um, help cover the seams up. The evidence. Cover up the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> and uh but I don't know how it came out short but it did so oh well I'll fix it okay so now let's go on with putting the silver on and this one here is really tough to deal with because where it's so small and it's crimpled up I basically have to glue every little spot so let's get that started 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it off evenly on the edge so it's an even cut. Cause... Okay, so and I'm going to start it right here in the front where we cut, is it where we cut off the um, other little nip at right there. So I'm going to start right there in the front. So a piece of it on the front of the dirt house and then... And I'm going to turn this way. I know y'all can't really see, but I'm sorry. And I, I do every corner on both sides. Like, I'll do it this side, and then I'll do it on this side of the corner. So, let me see if you can see that. I don't know if you can or not. So, I'll put some on the top here, and then I'll put some on the side here on this corner. That's how I do the rickrack kind on this birdhouse, on the birdhouse kind. So, I don't know if you can see, but see, I'm doing it on both sides. Then I pull a little tight. And then press it down. So it gets it down. Now if I'm doing a small object with with this, like when I've done this project here with the Rick Rack silver, I glued every spot of it because it was a small piece. But where this right here is a big long piece, I'm just going ahead and doing just the corners. And plus two, I'm kind of a little bit in a rush. So let me go ahead and get this done. Yes. Alright, so I went ahead and just cut that off. And I've got some left over. I'm gonna keep it and use it on another part of it. Okay, so that's what that part there looks like. So now let's go ahead and start doing the embellishments of this. One of the things I'm gonna do in embellishment is I have these little foam flowers. Um, I got it from my local Walmart store in a package, and it came it did have some um it came pink, blue red and yellow they do not have no purple ones and for the birdhouse that i made which is so which is this one right here um i used one on hit but it was a pink one and i painted it so i'm gonna paint this one here as well and i'll probably use it on the there over here in the corner so it kind of helped cover up that um thing okay so what i'll do is i'll paint it um I'll paint it purple first and then I'll paint it um, the glitter purple. So I'll go ahead and get it there and then I'll go ahead and get my small embellishments ready. I'll show you what I'll get before I use them and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to show you real fast how I'm going to do this about the paint and the flower. Um, I'm just going to take some of the purple paint that I use for the background of the birdhouse and I'll just dip it in there. And I and I just rub it around the with the flower, get it all covered. And that foam kind of helps absorb it, absorb the paint too. Just make sure when you put it on there that you bend it out to where the the, the middle piece of the rose will show. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting this up, and then I'm gonna put the glitter on it, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the purple to dry, I haven't put the glitter on it yet, but while I'm waiting for it to dry, I went ahead and got some of my purple um, floral blooms, whatever, and I went ahead and got my beads so I can go ahead and be working on this stuff while it's drying. So I'm going to set it to the side, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and deal with the pearls and deal with the flowers. And with the flowers, you can see here, they got like a little bit of a stem to them. I'm going to cut them completely off on all of them. And as you can see, this one here is smaller comparing to that one. So that's going to be the top one. And I'm going to layer them. And this one right here is the same, about the same size. So I'm going to cut the little tip part of this one here off. I'm going to take this one here and put my glue, hot glue gun in the center blue spot. Put my other big one on top of hit. But I'm going to try to do it where it's a layering like that. And that small one I have to cut hit completely completely off as well. So it'll lay on there good. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to grab my flower. And I'm sorry if I'm off screen. I don't mean to be off screen. Grab my flower. I'm going to put a 
another glitter dot right there in the middle and put my other one on top of it. Then in the middle of it, I'm going to put another glue dot and take one of my pearl beads and put on top of it. Now, on the birdhouse, right here is where I'm going to glue that flower at. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I know you can't really see right now, but I'm putting a whole glob of um, glue, and then I'll put my flower down right there on it. So it looks like that. Okay. No. Well, my other one, my other flower's driving. That little Rick Rack ribbon I told you to save. I'm going to make a really unique bow out of it. I don't know. I call them a sunflower bow. I don't know what they're really called. But I've just made these for a lot. And all I do is I take a piece of, I take a part of the, the glue. Um, so far up into it, I'll take some glue. I'm going to put it in the crease here. And I'll put some glue on it. Then I take the beginning piece and I connect it like that. And I just do that there all the way around in a circle. That's all I do. And be very careful because you can burn yourself really easy with that, with this process. I'm going to go ahead and completely glue all these. And you kind of have to turn it sideways a little bit to get it to do right. And you might have to kind of flatten the bow a little bit, but we'll get it there. Okay, so as you can see here, it's done. I only made like a half of this, uh, one side half of it because it's going to be with a brown peg. But, um, I just want to call it a sunflower bow because once completed, it looks like a sunflower all the way around. But I only made a half of a bow so that it can go in the peg. And as you can see here, I have a little loop here sticking out, and that's going to go around the peg. I'm going to put some hot glue gun on the back of the on the back of the bow, and then I'm just going to slide it down. And, pl and plot it on it and, pl and plant it on it. Now I'm going to also put a pearl on top of it. So I'm going to dab a dab, dab a dab a do, and I'm going to place the pearl on top of that. So it looks it looks like that. Okay. So, the purple still ain't dried. It's going to take it a while to dry on that. Okay, so. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my butterfly sequences. I have a few purple ones. And I'm going to take those and glue on there, the birdhouse and the edges of them. So it kind of looks like birds, um... Your butterflies are sitting there perched on it. And it'll be really pretty. Um, these are actually sequences. And they're flat. But what I always do is I always kind of fold the wings in. So it makes it look really realistic. I'm going to put some hot glue on the, on the back of the bur butterfly. I'm just going to kind of part, you know, on the edge of it, not a whole, whole lot, so just on the edge. And over on this side, I'm going to, you know, do this one here the same way, the darker purple. I'm going to bend the wings in and put some glue on the back. And that actually about melted it all the way through. That was pretty bad. 
<clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm doing the last butterfly the same way. I want to put it on the edge of the roof. So when you look at it, it's got little butterflies on it, and there's the one on the roof, and it's really pretty like this. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pearl and put it on the top of the birdhouse, kind of like a peak. And I put it with the hole down so that the hole would kind of sit on there. Quit. I'm going to smoke, so it looks like the hard drive is out of the computer. Computer shop. Kind of like that, so it's like a little perch, a bead. So, so I'm almost done, which is about everything. I'm gonna go ahead and let this um, let this rose finish painting or finish drawing, so it's not dried. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paint it the silver part, or the sparkly part. And then when it's all done, I'll show you the last little bit I'm gonna put on here. Okay, so the flower is now done. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the glue. On the back of back of my flower to apply it. My glue guns are acting up. I'm gonna have to get a new glue gun because mine's acting up. All right, so I'm gonna glue hit to the other bottom piece down here. Which you can't see, but it's right, it's right here, right there, and uh, glue it. And now I'm gonna put a couple pearls down here, and a couple on the side on the sides here, and then I'll be done. So I'll go ahead and do that where you can see it. I'll turn it on its side here, and so like I said, I'm gonna put some right here and on the sides, and then I'll be done. So I'm going to turn it this way so I can see. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, they're not sticking very good. Let me redo it. Try this again. Okay. Put a glue dot on here and then I want to put it in the back. There we go, it's going now. These little pearl beads sometimes can be hard to glue, but once you get it started, they do pretty good. And if you have tweezers, then they would work better to place in these little grooves than just using your fingers because they're smaller than your fingers are, or at least they are for me. But I always lose my tweezers, and so I have no clue where they're at, so I'm just having to deal with what I got to deal with. So... All I'm doing now is I'm moving this little petal over so I can glue it there. So it'll look even. 
Now, that's perfect on the front, and then I'm going to do the side Mama. over here. And just remember that when you get done to make sure you get all the webs, glue gun webs off. Mama. I'm going to try my best to get them all off so I can they'll look pretty. Mama. Sometimes they're hard to see though. Mama. Mama. Oh, baby. Mama. Well, hold on, hold on. So I should have about Mama. one or two more, and then I'll be done with the pearls. Mama. I said should. Mama. Okay, let's do, we'll do, I should be able to get one more in here. On this side. Now, if you wanted to, you could put the, like, the pearls all the way around, but I'm not because um, a lot of times they don't see the back you just see that that part of it but <coughs> oh, me. but I just went ahead and um, just on the sides here for these I wanted to make a box to put these in to put it in so she could wrap it but I don't know if I get to do that tonight because it's late it's like after 10 o'clock right now and my son's gonna get in bed and so I don't know if I get to not if I did make her a box for this I'll make it tomorrow and then I'd be able to show you so before she comes but I probably won't I'll probably just leave it open and Give it to her like that. Okay, we're almost done with the pearls. This should be my last one. Yep, my last one. Alright, we're going to get rid of all these little webs. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to rock in some... Okay, so get rid of all the little webs. I don't know, like I said, it's hard to get rid of them. But once you get rid of all the little webs, then it's going to be finished. Mama. And other than getting all the webs. So that's, that's the birdhouse that I have made. I hope you all liked the video. I hope you like it. Of course, you can always put more on it. Um, I actually had ordered um, the Prima little rais rising window frames, and I thought about putting them on here, but because I didn't get it in time, I won't put it on this one. But I'll put it on my on my my bird house that I have in my room, and I will make a video for that and show you that whenever I get it. So, this is my end of uh, video project, the altered bird house. I hope you all like and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and check out my blog at www.createfromtheheart.weebly.com and for now I will see you all later. Bye.